Welcome to selecting lift wire to increase energy efficiency. In today's markets, higher energy efficiency and lower cost of ownership with no loss in performance is the goal. Lift wire can help achieve this in many magnetic devices and applications. Those applications include high performance motors, high current high frequency inductors, induction heating equipment, high frequency transformers, and wireless power transfer. In the recent past, the emphasis has been on how to make subcomponents more and more affordable with too little emphasis on built to last and low cost of energy ownership. Sometimes considerable losses were considered tolerable, but as we continue to realize resources and energy are best used by making high quality energy efficient devices. In many devices, designers are choosing to raise the frequency to take advantage of higher coercive forces and denser fields. This is to maintain or increase power in a smaller form. The result can be increased eddy current losses in both skin and proximity effect. These losses that are caused by the current flowing on a smaller and smaller section of the perimeter of the conductor as the frequency rises are becoming more and more critical. This is due to the increased demands of miniaturization while maintaining or increasing performance that was previously mentioned as well as the demand for increased overall energy efficiency in all devices. Skin effect is due to the reaction between fields set up in different parts of the conductor. In a straight wire, the field or current traveling near the surface causes induced currents to flow in the opposite direction in the center of the conductor. The greater the frequency, the stronger the effect until the current occupies only a small fraction of the conductor or only the skin layer of the conductor. Skin effect is more pronounced in low resistivity materials and conductors of magnetic material show an exaggerated increase in resistance with frequency. Proximity effects on the other hand happen when a conductor is located in a varying magnetic field that is generated by a neighboring source. This can increase losses in windings considerably and will rise in magnitude if techniques are not employed to minimize these losses. Since we can accurately calculate skin depth, we can select a strand that has a radius that is smaller than that calculated skin depth. Then combine several strands to build to the copper area needed. If you're changing from an existing device, then this may be less copper area than was needed previously since your device will now have a greater efficiency. This may lower cost, not raise it, since less copper and core material may be needed. The strands are twisted in a manner so that every strand eventually comes to the surface of the bundle. This ensures that each strand in the bundle is exposed to the same magnetic field. To prevent the current from flowing on the surface of the overall bundle, each strand has a very thin layer of film. The final result is a lift wire that effectively utilizes the entire cross section of the conductor at frequency. Or stated another way, the inductance of each strand is equal to every other strand. At this stage, the final form of the lifts needs to be considered. Many don't realize that square and rectangular forms can be readily manufactured that more readily utilize the area in a winding window or that have an aspect that will help with the desired field generation. The final list can also be tailored for the cooling and voltage standoff required by utilizing a myriad of insulation types. These include extruded, plastics, tapes, and textiles. Before we examine an example for a specific device, let's review some of the drawbacks cited in the past, such as cost and fill factor. Advances in forming and shapes of wire has allowed much higher fill factors than some of the classic articles cite. NEWT has a catalog that demonstrates some typical solutions, but can't convey every option here. When designs have been prepared directly for customer applications, 
we have seen 85% copper fill, or as low as 15% area loss, or lower in some cases. Manufacturing techniques for magnet wire and lits has advanced as well, lowering cost of these products. In induction type coils, high Q is important to maximize the efficiency in transferred power. Using lits wire optimized around the frequency of operation of the system, the series resistance can be reduced, thereby increasing Q, defined as X of L over R. This results in great efficiency in transferred power. Why go to wireless electric charging of devices if we are not going to retain as much of the generated energy as possible? Not using a high Q coil would be like standing a few feet away from your car with a gas hose and seeing how much you could get in the tank. In conclusion, if you are considering increasing the efficiency Reducing the size or increasing the output of your permanent magnet device, induction coil, power inductor, or AC power interconnect, then LITS deserves a review. The method that has been discussed here in the New England Wire Technologies catalog and on the New England Wire Technologies website is based on the ideal case for an isolated transmission line. Magnetics design is currently evolving at a fast pace and many other references are available for selecting lists for specific devices and topologies. Please see the attached references or contact New England Wire Technologies for our latest information on design references. Thank you for watching Selecting Lits Wire to Increase Energy Efficiency.